Welcome to this tutorial on setting up a booth visitor counter using the Raspberry Pi 5 and the Raspberry Pi AI kit, featuring the powerful Hilo 8L accelerator. This project is perfect for event organizers who need real-time visitor counting with high accuracy using YOLO-based computer vision models. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully functional system that can track visitor movements and provide you with real-time data. Before we get started, let's go over the prerequisites. You'll need a Raspberry Pi 5, Raspberry Pi AI kit, a camera module with CSI cable or USB webcam, and a 27 watt power supply. Additionally, you may need an enclosure case for your camera, the official Raspberry Pi 5 case with an active cooler, and a sturdy camera stand. All the items mentioned here are available on Citron Marketplace at citron.io. On the software side, it's essential to use the 64 bit Raspberry Pi OS. The good news is, whether you're booting from an SD card or USB, you can get the Satron Maker Disk, which comes pre-installed with the latest Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. We'll also need the Hilo software package, OpenCV, and the supervision library for handling detection results. Let's dive into the setup. If you haven't installed the Raspberry Pi OS, use the Raspberry Pi Imager to download and install the 64-bit version. Once installed, open a terminal and run the following commands to update your system and firmware. Next. To get the best performance, we'll set PCIe to Gen 3. Run the Raspi config command, navigate to advanced options, select PCIe speed, yes, OK, then reboot your Raspberry Pi. Now let's install the Hilo software by running the command sudo apt install halo all from the terminal. After installation, reboot the Raspberry Pi and verify that the Hilo chip is recognized with the following command. With the Hilo software installed, Clone the Hilo Raspberry Pi examples repository using the following command. Then navigate to the Hilo RPi5 examples directory. Set up your environment by running source setup env. Install the requirements and download resources. Next, compile the post processing scripts with the compile post process. Finally, install the supervision library with the following command. Now let's create our visitor counting script. Navigate to the basic pipelines folder on the RPi5 examples and create a new Python file and name it whatever you want. Copy and paste the provided code into this file. The code will be linked in the description for you to follow along. Before we proceed with the application, we need to create a custom label for the model. Navigate to the resources folder and create a file named counterlabels.json. Paste the following code and save it. This JSON file configuration ensures that while the model may recognize other objects, only people crossing our defined line will be counted as visitors. With everything set up, it's time to run our application. Ensure that your Hilo virtual environment is correctly configured and that your camera is connected. Navigate to the basic pipelines folder and run the script using the following command. Here I'm running the application with a local video file. You can also run it from Raspberry Pi camera by changing the input to RPi in the execution command. Please note that the application runs using the built-in YOLO V6 Nano model, so it will detect various objects based on the pre-trained model. However, the counting will only occur when a person crosses the triggering line. Let's break down what this command does. It specifies the paths for the YOLO model file, the input video, and the custom label configuration. First, we execute visitor counter file, then provide the Hilo executable path for the YOLO V6 Nano model. We use a local video file from the resources folder as the input, and finally, include the custom labeled JSON we created earlier. Additionally, you can add the dash u flag to the command to verify the location of the triggering line. This argument will save an image of the frame in the specified folder. As you can see here, the saved image shows the green line in the middle of the frame, which represents our triggering line. Now let's discuss how we define the line zone using the supervision library. We start by setting two points to create a vertical line within the video frame. The start point is defined at 340. Zero, positioning the line 340 pixels from the left edge at the top of the frame, while the end point is at 340, 640, extending the line down to the bottom of the frame. This vertical line will serve as our triggering zone for counting visitors. Next, we use the sv.linezone class from the supervision library to create the line zone passing in these start and end points. The triggering anchors parameter is configured to trigger counting whenever the center, center right, 
or center left of an object crosses this line, ensuring accurate detection for our boot visitor counter. You may adjust the line zone and triggering anchors based on your needs for better accuracy. In this section, we update the GStreamer text overlays to show real-time visitor counts for both entering and exiting, using arrows to indicate direction and formatting the text with a readable monospace font. And there you have it. You've successfully built a fully functional boot visitor counter using the Raspberry Pi 5 and the Hilo Accelerator. This system offers a strong foundation for real-time visitor tracking, and you can easily customize it further to meet your specific needs. In an upcoming video, I'll guide you through creating a custom model that you can deploy with the Raspberry Pi AI kit. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.